What the Tech is sponsored by Tennessee Wesleyan University Fort Sanders Nursing Department. Complete your bachelor's or master's in person or online. Learn more at tnwesleyan.edu slash nursing. Well, it's something most of us do every day, charging our smartphone in the car while we drive. Bad news is it doesn't really work. The even worse news is it could harm your phone. Our consumer technology reporter, Jamie Tucker, explains. Well, I guess this has happened to all of us. We get in our car after work, heading home, and our battery is at 2%. We get home after we plug it into the car and it's at 3%. Why in the world doesn't it charge faster in the car? Here's why. Most USB ports in cars are not phone chargers at all. They're input so you can plug your phone or flash drive into the car's entertainment system, listen to music, or use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. With a few exceptions, those don't provide enough power to charge a phone. Might not even keep the phone from running down the battery if you're streaming music. Instead of using those, pick up one of those adapters that plugs into the cigarette lighter. These have four to five amps. They'll charge a phone 10 to 20 times faster than one of those USB ports. Here's something else. Stay away from those cheap car chargers you see at gas stations and drug stores. Those charging cables and plugs are not made well. Some have even caught fire when left plugged into an outlet. If you need to charge your phone in the car, get a cigarette lighter, car charger, and a cable. Make sure they're name brand, not some of those knockoffs. Not only will it charge your phone faster, it'll make the battery and the phone last longer. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.